G'day everyone, Viv here. Welcome back. I hope you're all keeping well. As per usual, following on from our video where we talked about combat, forming our combat hand, you know, that back and forward exchange during, you know, what I call a combat engagement. You know, you play five rounds of combat where each player is playing a card, you know, trying to one-up each other um, during a combat engagement. Now here on the table, I've got a, you know, a setup that, you know, I've created here. You know, we've both got our decks of cards here. There's cards in our discard pile. On the table here, I've got four uh, Maori versus three Mudmen. Um, there was three rounds of combat. Actually, this guy should have one card. Yes. There's been three rounds of combat played so far. Two draws. The Mudmen won one of the rounds of combat and killed one of the Maoris. The Maori player still has one card left in his hand. He had four cards. One, two, three, four cards in his hand. The Mudmen only had three. One, two, three, and subsequently now have no cards in their combat hand. What do we do? We still need to play five rounds of combat. The, I, the Mud Men don't have any cards in their hand. The Maori player has one card, but you know he's gonna spend that in a second. What do we do? When you still need to play combat rounds during an engagement and you have no cards in your hand, your unit is considered to be panicked. If a unit is panicked, all it can do is flip cards from the top of their deck. So in this instance, the last round of combat was won by the Mud Men, so the new, they have advantage. They killed this little chap here. So the Maoris need to play first. They'll flip over their only remaining card. Now all the Mud Men can do is panic, flip cards blindly from the top of their deck. So I'll flip a card blindly from the top of the deck. At this point, it's, it's wise to mention you cannot do damage to somebody when you are panicked. Even if you flip a strike card and it is higher than your opponent, all you will do is win that combat round, and that's important to know who's won the most combat rounds, that determines the winner of the combat engagement and the loser must flee. So even though you win that combat round when you are panicked with a strike card perhaps, you won't do any damage. You can't do damage when you're panicked. All you can do is you know try and defend yourself and you know fend off blows, etc., and, you know, hope that, you know, no more, no, no more people die. So you can still win a combat round, but you can't do damage. In this circumstances, the Maori player has defeated our uh, Mud Men here. So the Mud Men will take a casualty. The Maori players will win a combat round. Cards will get discarded. We've still played one, two, three, four rounds. We need to play a fifth. Both of us are now panicked. The Maoris have advantage, so I need to, or the Mudmen need to flip first, so we'll flip their card blindly off the deck. The uh, Maoris will flip blindly off the deck. They win, higher card. They win with a strike card, so normally they do damage, but because they're panicked, they won't do any damage. But they still win that combat round, so we'll give them another little token there and we'll discard the cards. And our combat engagement is now finished. You can see here on the table there were two draws, they don't count, versus the two combat rounds for the Maori player, one combat round for the Mud Men. The Mud Men have lost this engagement, so they must retreat a card length away, and the combat engagement is now finished. There we go. That's what happens when you're panicked, when you have no more cards left in your combat hand because you didn't start with five. You still need to play the five rounds, when you have no cards left in your combat hand, you start flipping off the, the, the deck. It's called being panicked. When you're flipping off the deck, you can't do damage, but you can still win combat rounds. There we go. That's that little uh, part of combat. There are a couple of other things that we need to discuss, and we'll do that shortly. In the meantime, as per usual, any questions, queries, or comments, put them in the description below. Uh, in the comment section below, in the description, again, as per usual, links and all that sort of stuff off to useful resources. I hope you're finding these helpful. I'm trying to keep them short. We will put everything together after we've ran through all these core mechanics into a sequence of play. Play one turn, and then we'll come back and have a look at some battle reports. So um, at this point, you know, hopefully you're picking some things up. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. See ya.